Hey Facebook Live, how's it going today? This is episode 78 of 365 Daily Motivation, 365 days of consistency, doing the same thing over and over again until we become masters at it. Hey, so I wanna thank you for taking your time to watch this. If you watch this now or later, I greatly appreciate it. Like the great Jay-Z said, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and so I appreciate that. Hey Sue, how's it going? Thank you for, for taking your time to come out today. Now, our talk for today is how to remain calm, how to not have fear, how to not be scared, and how to have courage when trying something new. Because if you're like me, you get a little bit anxious and have anxiety when you're trying to do something new, something you've never done before, something that's brand new to your paradigm and your belief system. And then you have questions and doubt, can I really do it? Is it even possible for me? Will it happen for me? And many times these questions are come from because we truly put so much emphasis on this new task. And so I figured out a way in my own life and in my own journey on how to not get distracted or how to not have fear when trying something new. Now, the very first thing I realized in my own journey is when i trying something brand new, I use the seventh principle. But that's going to be another talk. The one I want to do today is something even simpler. What we want to do is when we're trying something new is not put so much emphasis on the new task on day one. So if you're trying something new on day one, think about and focus more on day 10. I was listening to a podcast from the gentleman that wrote the four hour work week. And he said, you will never know what you have when doing something once. But usually by the 10th or 20th uh, time, he was talking about podcasts, it's by his 20th episode, he started to see, okay, I have a system down. But he never worried about the first episode. What he thought in the very first episode is going to be bad. He already put it out there. He said, you know what? The first episode is going to suck. But the 10th episode is going to be great. So whenever you're trying to do something new, don't think about the very first time you're doing it. Think about the 10th time you're going to do it. Meaning, every time it will get better. So the first time is gonna be horrible. The second time is gonna be okay. The, the third time is gonna be decent. The fourth time is gonna be mediocre. The fifth time is gonna be, okay, we're starting to progress. The sixth time is gonna be, okay, this is okay. The seventh time is gonna be good. The ninth time is gonna be great. And the tenth time is gonna be phenomenal. Because you've done it so many times, now you don't have a fear, now you have more confidence, now you have energy towards it that will help catapult you to where you want to be. Versus if you get stuck on the very first time, it starts to get you anxious because you want to do so good the first time out. But just know going in the first time out is going to suck. <laughs> it's not going to be that good. You may not have people come by. It reminds me of a story. I think uh, Andy uh, was saying this the other day was about um, the gentleman that had his performance seventh time before he actually, anyone ever showed up. He had his performance seven different times. He had a theater performance seven different times and each time no one showed up. But on the seventh time, he had a packed house. He had a packed house. And so whatever you're trying to do in your own life, in your own journey, the very first time is not gonna be good. This could be even when you're dating. You know, we get anxiety when you're dating somebody. Oh, it's the first date. You know, I got to look good. You know, do they like me? Do I like them? You know, and don't worry about it. It's only one date. <laughs> the 10th date then start to start thinking about those thoughts. But the very first time, we're just, we're, just, we're just testing each other out. We're just seeing if we like each other. And so that helps calm the mind. It helps calm the situation. When the first time you're going in to say, hey, this is not going to be that good. And just go in with that mentality. And when you know it's not going to be that good, it's not going to be that great, you're not putting so much pressure on yourself to make it great. But just know, hey, the 10th time is going to be awesome. The 10th date is going to be phenomenal. The 10th performance is going to be amazing. The 10th business idea is going to hit. The 10th year, I'm going to be abundant. You see, when you put less pressure on yourself early, you start to concentrate more and focus on how do we get this better to that 10th spot. Put more pressure on the 10th than the first. 
And then as you put more pressure on the 10th, you start relaxing on the first and say, okay, this is going to be bad. But now you look at the first one as, okay, what did we do? What was the pros? What was the cons? How do we make it better? Because if you're like me, my own life, I started doing things the first time, the first time I worked out, the, the very first time I spoke, uh, the very first time I wrote a book, the very first time I did anything, I put so much pressure on myself because I wanted to make it perfect. But realizing at my fourth book, it's way better than my first one. Why? Because I've gotten better. I've learned. I've progressed. I have better editors, better covers, better titles. Each time I get better. Why? Because I learn. And so if you put less pressure on your first time doing something, and put more pressure on the 10th time you do it, that's how you release the fear of doing something new. Because you no longer, it never, it no longer holds weight the very first time. Now the 10th time holds the most weight. So when you do it the first time, second time, third time, it's like, okay, I know it's not gonna be that good. And you go in, hey guys, I know this is not gonna be that great, but we're gonna get better. Hey people, I know it's not gonna be this good, but we're gonna get better. And don't get so bogged down of the first time you do it, and it's not that great. Nestor, long time no see, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Strongly agree. Because the very first time you do something is never going to be that. It's never going to be perfect. It's never going to be great. I'm yet to hear a story. The very first time out, it was just phenomenal. Out the gate, it just blew up. I've never heard a story like that. But I've heard the 15th time. The 20th time, the 100th time, the 1,000th time, <laughs> that's when they found perfection. So focus more on the later time you're going to do it. And it sets you so, how I do is this, try this action step, is you have a task. It's the very first time you do it. Now set a date to the 10th time you're going to do it. And then set a date from the 12th, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, the, the, the 6th, whatever, up to the 10th. And then mark the 10th as best. This is the best one. This is gonna be the good one. So you put less pressure on the ninth, the eighth, the seventh, the sixth. And all you do is learn each time you do it. That's how you progress. That's how you be get, become better and not have the fear of the first time out. Because as a person that's tried many different things, let me tell you, it's never gonna be that good the first time out. It's always gonna be great, at least the fifth to the tenth time. Hey Miriam, appreciate the love. Hey Jazz, appreciate the love. Hey, again, this is Rich Fontaine. I appreciate you taking your time to watch this. Either you could agree with me or not agree with me. But either way, I feel this was a successful conversation. And I truly believe if you caught this video, it's because it was meant for you to hear. So please take these words to the heart. Please share it with friends if you want to. Please like if you want to. But take this information to the heart and utilize it in your own life because I know it's something that will help change it. Thank you very much. Love is love. Love all of you. Namaste. Miriam says shop with me. Shop with her. <laughs>